weather, it is now time to carbo load. Tonight, thousands of runners are eating the traditional pre-race pasta dinner. Jim Smith is live at City Hall Plaza. And Jim, this dinner is a ritual, but you don't want to eat too, too much. And you know what, Katie? It's an absolutely a necessary ritual because when you're about to run 26.2 miles, it's important to build up some energy stores. And one way to do that is by gorging on a huge pasta dinner. The idea is it builds up all the extra energy in your muscles so that you store energy for the run. We all know a good meal is a healthy thing. But when it comes to the Boston Marathon, Thank you. the pre-race pasta dinner is an absolute must. This feast is just what every runner needs most, carbohydrates, a concept known around the world. To keep you going throughout the race and... Um, I've been carbo loading like early in the week, just little by little. You got to keep your energy up. So the purpose of carbo loading is to try to keep the energy stores throughout your body high, so that it come race day you're able to keep that high level of intensity throughout the race. Thousands of runners came to City Hall for the huge annual event, and some of them were served their meal by the mayor himself, who welcomed them to Boston. And I know this is going to be an incredible day tomorrow. I'm doing everything I can to hold off the rain. Uh, we're we're going to see what we can do here, but. Thank you for coming to our beautiful city. Thank you for running in the best race in the world. Now back to the meal. Two, please. One veteran of more than 500 marathons shared his secret. You have to do what you think is right. Carbo loading is one stuff, but I like also Big Mac. <laughs> That's right, he said a Big Mac, but he also said that he's run 500 marathons, so who are we to argue? Better yet, he said he likes to have that Big Mac after the race most of the time and the pasta before. That might be a better prescription. Live at City Hall, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Katie, back to you.